Has this been a, like a, a dream of yours all your life? It has. It's always been a dream to perform on the Royal Variety Show. Sure. Uh, and meet the Queen in person, so. She's very nice. She's very nice. Very easy to chat to. And <laughs> when you go over for dinner, she's just very normal and down to earth. <laughs> OK, well, listen, Richard, uh, I really wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I join you on Please. the table? Please, I would like that. Thank you very much. I'll sit here and watch on the screen. What a cup of tea. I love stuff like this. Now, I have a gift here. This is a gift which is going to be for one of you judges in just a few moments, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I also have two notebooks. On each of these notebooks, I have different things written. One is for you, Amanda. Right. As I flick through, uh, would you mind reading some of these out for me? Jennifer Aniston, Madonna, Brad Pitt, Taylor Swift, Vin Diesel, Halle Berry, Emma Stone, Tom Hanks. They're all celebrities, 60 celebrities to be precise. If you could hold your hand flat for me, place your other hand directly on top and just hold it there. I also have one for you, David. Oh. This one here is a drinks menu. On every page is a different drink. Please read some out for us. Fanta, mojito. Vodka, rum, whiskey. I'm right now, apple juice, orange juice. If you could hold your hand flat and place your other hand on top. Now, just with your thumb, lift up, make sure no one sees, and just take a peek of whatever you choose and then slam it closed for me. And please, could you stand up and just throw them onto the stage because we no longer need those. Unleash the anger. Perfect. Good throw, David. OK, Amanda, we're going to start with yourself. You're thinking of a celebrity, is that correct? Yes. Thinking of a celebrity? Just stand up for me. What I need you to do is send your thoughts straight directly into my mind. I need you just with your finger, look me directly in the eye and just touch me just on the forehead there. Ooh! You felt that, right? Yes! Thank you so much. Oh now, goodness. what you've just done is Did you've you just directly that? sent your thoughts into my mind. And I'm now going to very creatively find out who you are thinking of. Now, believe it or not, before I became a magician, I spent six years in an origami intensive training center in the heart of Japan. Just so I could be here with you guys doing this right now. Now, am I right in saying this is someone who's very particular about their hair? Yes. And I think it's probably a man. Don't give anything away, but I'm going to just... Right, that's perfect. OK, Amanda, please tell us, this wonderful audience, who are you thinking of? David Beckham. David Beckham. If I open this up, I've made something very, very special for you to keep. We have Mr. You're still thinking of a drink, is that correct? Correct. Would you mind now revealing to us the drink that you've been thinking of? It's the drink I'm drinking right now. Which is? A cup of tea. A cup of tea? A cup of, a cup of tea. tea. Now, this has been here the whole time. It's been in front of yourself, Simon. Yeah. Inside here, ladies and gentlemen, just as you asked for, orange soda! a little bit awkward, but we can still fix this. Uh, don't panic. Could you just reach out your hand just here for me? Just send me that positive energy. Oh! What is going on? Wow. Okay, I didn't oh, like it. it. so rude. Oh, my goodness. Believe it or not, now just filled me with all of your kinetic energy, which allows me to act almost like a microwave, so the can starts to heat up. Oh, come on. It gets hotter and hotter. Please feel it. What? Feel the can. It's getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, just make sure that is a sealed can. I was do think of one drink you said, breakfast tea, was that right? Correct. If I open this up, ladies and gentlemen, just what you ordered. No way. Tea. Tea in a can. Please taste it. A cup of tea. Please taste it, make sure it really is tea. A delicious cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. How the hell would you do that? I have no idea. Good evening. Tonight I have a gift once again, which I'm going to leave in front of you, Simon, for now. I need you to just keep an eye on it and make sure no one touches it just for now. I also have the wonderful Amanda Holden's autobiography. 
and the photograph of our judges. Alicia, I need you to do me a favour. In just a moment, I'm going to riffle through the pages. I just need you just to say stop wherever you like for me. OK. Stop. Are you happy there? It's up to you. Yep. We can go forward no, and back. that's fine. You happy? What I need you to do is just remember for me just the page number that you've stopped on okay. and also just the first word on the page for me. OK. Have you got that? Please yes. remember it and we're going to come back to that in just a moment. Now, Amanda, I actually kept the receipt for your book. Good. Don't panic. <laughs> I was never planning on taking it back. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that magic is all around us all the time. We just have to choose to find it. If I was to go back in time, for example, and get my cash back, it would look something like this. <laughs> Alicia, please tell us, what was the page number that you just chose a moment ago? 176. 176. Yes. Inside this gift, which has been here the entire time, is in fact a message in a bottle. If you look closely, you'll see that actually it is a page. If I open it up so you can all see, it is in fact a page from your book, Amanda. Alicia, please tell us what page have I got here? 176. 176, the same page. Please turn to page 176 as quick as you can for me, Alicia. As quick as you can, and you will find that page 176 no longer exists in the book. Now that because this isn't just a matching page, but this is in fact no. the exact oh page. Oh my goodness! Now, Alicia, you also chose a word. Yes. For the first time, please tell us which word did you choose? One of my favourites, bottom. Bottom. Of course, that would be my Great favorite. choice, great choice. <laughs> Ladies and gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. And a real dream come true to perform live in front of the nation tonight. Just to finish, burnt into the page, the chosen word. Oh, that's sick. Bottom. Oh, no. Thank you. It's great to be back. Now, there are 717 audience members here this evening. Each and every one of you, when you arrived, should have written your first name and the town in which you're from on a ticket. And we have a box full of those tickets here. Each one, thank you very much, each one has a number, numbered one to 717, and correlate to the order in which you arrived into the studio this evening. I'm gonna bring them down here so you can see judges and so that everyone at home can have a look too. So, if I pull a few of these names out, so for example, we have here Pete from Enfield is number 74. Uh, he's in here somewhere, congratulations. We've got Susan from Kent. And as you can see, each one has a different number. Now, Alicia, I need you to do me a favour. In your mind, I need you to think of a three-digit number. Any three-digit three number below 717? Below have 717. You got, have you got one in mind? This is tough for her. <laughs> 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 Have got you got it. one? Got Please it. tell us, what is the number you're thinking of? 333. 333. Well, it turns out 333 is correct. OK, David! <laughs> David, you're yes. now going to choose a member from the audience for us. Uh, but it's very important that the people at home know that it, this isn't set up and you're right, not just okay. choosing someone you know. So tonight you're going to be throwing an object into the audience. Whoever catches it is going to be our volunteer. What's the uh, object? So here we go. So tonight on Britain's Got Talent, David, you're Great. going to be throwing this brick <laughs> at someone here. Now, don't panic, ladies and gentlemen, it is only sponge. But it's not an illusion. If this is flying towards you, please do put up your hands to catch it. Otherwise, it will probably still hit you in the head. Uh, so take Where that Where there is blame, there's a claim. Yeah, That's absolutely. All I'm just saying, okay? Give it to someone in your list. Okay, Great <laughs> throw. There we go. If you caught the brick, please stand for us. We're going to get a microphone to you. Now, you can stay there. Thank you very much for joining us. What's your name? Marion. 
Marion? Yeah. Uh, now, Marion, where are you from? Bracknell. Bracknell. And just to check before we move on, have you filled out one of these tickets? Yes. You have. Fantastic. Well, first things first, let's give uh, Marianne a round of applause for helping us out <laughs> on live TV. Millions of people watching, no pressure. Uh, now, Marianne, um, before we move on, you put your name and where you're from. You didn't add any pictures or anything like that. Nothing no. rude. No. Okay, good. Just checking, because someone did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, we're going to get to know you a little bit before we move on. Who is your favourite act on Britain's Got Talent this year? Uh, Izzy. Izzy, right? Any fans of Izzy? Yeah, we've got magic fans in. Good. And arguably more importantly, who is your favourite judge? Simon. Simon, yeah. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Bad selection, eh? Thank you very much. Um, you can take a seat. It's now my job to locate your ticket in here in a stylish and interesting way uh, using some skills that I've developed in my army training. So here goes. <laughs> to 12 feet into the air. And it's my job to try and locate just one. Hopefully yours in an interesting way using my household cavalry sword. Here goes. Marianne. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep this here nice and clear so you can all see. David, I'm going to bring it down to you. You chose one person in this room. You chose Marianne from Bracknell. Please read out the name for us. Marianne Marianne Bracknell. from Bracknell. But wait, there's one more thing. Alicia, you thought of a number, any number. You said 333. Please read out the number of Marianne's card. 333. 333. Tonight, I'm going to be performing classic magic. The magicians have been performing for many years, but I'm going to put my spin on it and use it to tell a story about a very special person and one of the people who inspires me the most in magic. He was born in 1918. And he went on to become one of the youngest members of the Magic Circle at the time, in 1936. When, war, when World War II broke out, he enlisted into the Royal Artillery, and he was sent to the front line in Singapore, where he fought bravely for king and country. While he was there, he underwent heavy fighting. He lost many of his friends, and he himself was shot numerous times and severely wounded. His family thought he was dead, but in fact, he was captured and he spent the next three years of his life in a prisoner of war camp. Amanda, would you sign this card as quick as you can for me? While he was in the camps, he underwent brutal treatment on a daily basis, treatment that no person should ever have to go through. But one thing that did keep him going was his ability to perform magic. Because he would perform not only for his comrades to keep morale high, but he would also perform for the guards, who would give him and his friends extra food during the long periods of starvation. But he would have, his favorite trick was to have a sign, a name, to rip it into pieces, to burn it, completely destroying it, pass, fix. And in a second of impossibility, restore hope among his comrades. This is the story that makes me proud to be British. This is the story of Mr. Fergus Ancorn. Present 
to you tonight, the man himself at 97 years of age, Mr. Fergus Ankhorn. Hello, it's Cosentino from Australia. You're watching Got Talent Global. Click the link below to subscribe.